Hi, my name is Josh with PBT. In this video, I will show you how to log into a site controller to set or change the SNMP trap configuration. To set your site controller's SNMP trap settings, perform the following steps. First, load up either a command prompt or program of your choice to begin the Telnet connection process. Enter the IP address of the device and set your port to 9999. Open the connection to begin the process. Enter the Telnet password if you have one and press Enter to continue. Option 3, SNMP Setup, is the option we are looking for. Press 3 and then Enter. The first option is to disable SNMP. Press N and then Enter to continue on to the next step. In the following prompts, you will input the set, get, and trap community passwords. Enter the passwords accordingly and press Enter to continue to the next prompt. Enter the designated trap receivers in the next prompt. The site controller will use up to three trap receivers. Enter the IP address of the trap receiver. If you need to clear a given IP address, use a single space to clear the entry. After you have input the designated trap receiver IP addresses, you will be prompted with whether or not you would like the site controller to reset after two hours if no SNMP messages are received. For this video, we will be disabling this feature. After inputting your SNMP settings and pressing Enter, you will automatically be returned to the main menu. From here, use option 9 to save your changes and reset the site controller. This will reboot the site controller and make the changes you just made active. This has been a PBT instructional video. Don't forget to click the follow button below the video to be notified when a new video is posted. On behalf of all of us here at PBT, thanks for watching.